So I'm a professor at a university in Seattle and um, during the quarantine when I had some opportunities to work online um, I ran into a little bit of a problem that I thought I would have to deal with when I returned to work uh, in person. What had happened was that I had a manager who has a habit of speaking really, really slowly and deliberately. Oh, let's meet again next Friday. I want to talk about a course that we're planning, uh, advanced calculus. Maybe you can put some input on the machine learning that you're working on. He would talk like that. And um, it doesn't sound like an issue, but sometimes um, I, I, I worry that criticism is coming up and um, or maybe something's going to happen, right? Maybe we're going to close again because of COVID-19. Maybe students have dropped out of the program. Maybe I got a bad perf uh, performance review from one of the students. Who knows? There's a billion things that the boss could be saying, and my mind will often jump ahead of his actual saying it. And um, usually it's not a big problem during the meeting, but after the meeting, oh my god, I would feel so drained. Oftentimes, so I would leave the meeting almost sweating, and I would have to go to my car to take a quick power nap uh, before going back to work. Uh, oftentimes, that, that's how drained I was sometimes at those meetings. And so, but during the quarantine, it was not so bad because I would often fidget with something else while he was doing that. Oftentimes, I would have another window that was open. I'd be talking to a friend. Uh, sometimes, I'd, I'd even have a friend who was a little bit of a support person. Um, or I would fidget with other things, right? I would be programming something else on the side. Sometimes, I would be reading a book. Sometimes, I had like a handheld of game or a puzzle. And um, I was thinking, I can't do that when I go to my boss's office. I was thinking about what would be appropriate for me to fidget with while I'm in his office. I thought of a few things. None of them were ideal. He's a very serious guy. But today I looked and he had been replaced. And don't get me wrong, he, he's, he, he has another job which is probably better suited for him. But um, it, I, I got such a huge wave of relief. I mean, I, I don't have a bad relationship with him or anything. I just got such a big wave of relief because I've been thinking about how to deal with this when I return. And now I can free up that part of my mind to do something else. And it made me reflect on maybe there are behaviors that I'm doing that somebody's going to be really happy when I leave the company. I hope I don't have any behaviors like that. But the, the, the issue with my former boss made me reflect on myself and whether or not I have little ticks like that. I know my former boss wasn't doing this to harass me or anything. I know that. But it's one of those things that you, you just have to be more mindful of what's going on around you and not act in isolation, right? I talked about how earlier this year I had a bad habit that every time I would go out in public I would have headphones on and sometimes depending on the context of what else is going on it can annoy the fuck out of people, right? Somebody's trying to get my attention, I misunderstand them, they startle me, I startle them. Um, or uh, what else have I been doing? Sometimes various habits while I'm driving, right? Um, I used to get into road rage very easily. I know one big problem I have when I'm driving. I really despise it when I turn on my GPS and it tells me to do certain things. And, and then I get out to the to a road and it make, it asks me to make a left turn like on, onto like a highway or something like that. I hate those kind of turns. I wish on your GPS there was a way to program to not give you turns like that. And then I would want to back out and then before I know it, somebody's already behind me and now... They're very annoyed at me. They, they zip past in front of me. Now I'm really in a jam because I want to get out of there. I'm hesitating. People are zipping in front of me. And um, it just goes to show that maybe I need to plan my trips ahead of time. Instead of relying on GPS to actually look at the GPS before I get in the car. Uh, but the situation with my former boss made me reflect on things I'm doing that I might be inadvertently annoying somebody else and it might be taken the wrong way by the wrong person at the wrong time. Right. Thanks for watching.